Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 1 VGA. And when last we left off, we found Irana's Peace, which is very close to a very angry ogre. This place is absolutely safe to rest in. Monsters do not come here. And there is fruit that we can eat, that I think replaces our rations, and flowers we can pick that we can sell to the healer. But we're not going to stay here right now, because we still have a bit of day left that we can take advantage of. In this small clearing, we also found a goblin that tried to kill us, and we got one whole silver from the goblin. And I'm not going to complain, it's better than those Saurus creatures that gave us no silver. So we're going to... Oh, we are out of uh, rocks, I thought we had a lot more rocks. We are out of rocks, so we are going to grab more rocks and we are going to throw those rocks until it starts to get dark, whereupon we will rest and then return back to the healer, sell our flowers, go to the castle, muck out the stables, and see if we can get some more training. I want to uh, train my dodge up. We are carrying so much, yep, don't worry. We got this. We will fling away our burden. And you can actually see our burden flying away. We are no longer overloaded. Marvellous! I wonder if we can improve our strength by being overloaded. It's probably not a good idea. It's probably not a good idea. Being overloaded probably means that we fight worse, or that we just start taking damage from being so overburdened. The latter is probably a lot more likely. Also, this tree is going to be literally, uh... pockmarked with, uh rock impacts soon enough. Right, uh, throwing is 64! Our stamina, not doing so well, but we can always rest at the, uh, at the place to the north. I am surprised that enemies have not decided to literally converge on our location from the sound of all of the rocks that we are flinging. It's their choice. It's a wise choice, because we are Derek, expert rock flinger. Really, we do need to get some daggers instead, or something a little more serviceable than a rock. Rocks, not the most dangerous things, can be deadly, but uh, dagger is a bit more deadly. Also, our stamina is now at, oops, still 7, 66 throwing, and... That is the wrong thing. I wanted to look at the time. Sunset approaches. Right, let us grab some rocks and get out of here because uh, we don't want to be out here when it gets dark. Okay, good. We are safe. And I want to check our pouch here. No, we still have three food rations. Okay. Excellent. Let us... Uh, Rest here until day. <sighs> well, these flowers sure look comfortable. Good thing nobody decides to come here and stab me. Yay, we are safe. Can I grab this uh, now, I wonder? Your hunger has been totally satisfied. You don't need another piece of fruit. Okay, so it does actually just replace my uh, rations. Excellent. I wonder how long that's for? A day? A day from when I've eaten it, or just a day? Oh! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You're a problem. Uh, I don't like you. I'm gonna save here. And, um... You're gonna follow me, aren't you? Oh, you're gonna follow me. Okay! Um... Have a rock. Have a rock. Oh dear. Well, I suppose we're going to fight. Right, so when... Okay. I need to... Ah, there we go. So, wait until you pop out of your shield. And slash. Okay. Okay, that was a bad hit. However, if I wait... Like that... Oh, got me. That's fine. I am winning. 
Right. Lock. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh. I should have hit that. There we go. Ha ha! Take that, bandit. Got a point for that. What do you have on you? Do you have any loot? Eighteen silver pieces! Well, that just makes up for everything I want to do today. So I'm really pleased! That is, uh... Also, how did my skills go up? Did I get some dodge? I got parry, mostly. Okay, parry's fine. Don't mind getting some parry. We were doing a lot of parrying. We were blocking some of those hits. So, that was you. This place is starting to get a little more dangerous, and I think that is because we are becoming more skilled. As your skill level increases, uh, enemies become more regular, like you! Okay, you, however, are just an enemy we can hit. A lot. So we're just gonna hit you until you die. Like that. And do you have anything worthwhile on you? Please say you have something. Nope, no treasure. What a waste. What a waste indeed! You could have not fought Derek, the mighty hero to be. But you fought Derek, the mighty hero to be, and thus you died. Alas. So we know how to deal with bandits. We... Really? I just killed your brother! Do you really want to fight me? Apparently you do. Also, our stamina is going down quite a bit. How's our stamina now? It is, uh, it's ten! Yeah, we want to probably rest outside the healers when we get there. The key word is where- oh! Oh no, right, um... I'm gonna use this. You- the drink is invigorating! Yep, our stamina is now at maximum. Good, because the last thing I want to have happen here that we die to stamina loss. 20 silver, fair enough. Probably a waste. But I'm glad that I used it. Glad that I used it. There are a lot of enemies here. I need a lot of those Saurus enemies now in the day. And that kind of ate completely into all my profits. Of course, we also have the, uh, the flowers that I'm going to be selling, so that's 18, 38... No, no, we're still going to make a profit. It's not going to be as big as I'd like, but it's, it's still going to be a profit. Right, let us first sell the flowers. Hello! I'm going to sell you these flowers, then we're going to go and do some mucking out of the stables, maybe get some dodge training. I'd like to get some dodge training. Not that I'm any good at dodging. Hello. Have more flowers for you. And more flowers for you. Thank you. We're gone. Haven't managed to get any of the uh, resources you really want, like the uh, troll beards or the cheetor claws. But we'll get them eventually, I'm sure. So maybe at some point we should get one of those ungents. Only when we need to go to the graveyard, and I don't think we need to go to the graveyard any time soon. Just a minute while I raise the gate. Thank you! Let's go in. This time if we find the Weapon Master, we are training our dodging. Absolutely, we do need a lot of that. I wonder if uh, that guard is still mad at us. Oh, I think that guard is still going to be very, very, very mad. But uh, what can you do? I'll tell you what we can do. Ignore the guard and... Do some heroic stable mucking! I thought you could uh, do the use thing, you have to walk up, and then he approaches. Ah, oh, you're back! Need some more work? Yes, I do! You know, at this rate, you might as well just hire me permanently. Heroics! I mean, we've actually been engaging in some of them. We've been fighting enemies, including a bandit. Don't pay you to rest! Well, okay, fine, fine. Really, we should be out there fighting things, but uh, this does improve our stats, so, uh, worth doing. Also, risk-free. Come over here!
now you're five silvers richer. Marvelous. And we gained some strength and some vitality and a bit of luck. Okay. Luck's fine. Now let's get the uh, weapon master here so that we can learn some dodging. And then we're going to go to the guild hall. Are you here? You are here! Perfect! That timing is impeccable! Very pleased to see you. I wonder if the uh, animation for when you appear is random or not. What uh, things you do. I'm not going to give you that. I don't think you'll appreciate me handing you rations. But I will pay you. I will pay you and raise my dodging. I salute you. On guard! Right, dodge! We're gonna learn how to dodge! I mean, he's slowly besting us because we're being pushed over to the right, but, uh... We're learning, hopefully. Also, I do like your shirt, sir. Very striking. Even as he fought, I could detect your skills improving through practice. It was most prudent that you should give in to my superior skill. Put your attention into the control of your legs when you duck a swing. Yep, we've we've got that. We've got that lesson already. And off he slowly walks to the left. Could you walk a bit faster, sir? I already have so many hours in the day that I can uh, use towards my daring do in heroics. How did our skill improve? Dodging to 20. Okay, that's literally doubled our dodging skill. And that's good. We really want to double our dodging skill. Okay, what time of day is it? Hopefully it is still early. It is... It's midday. Excellent. We have tons of time. Tons and tons and tons of time. So we head south from the uh, healer, go into town, and we're going to check out the guild hall. We can check out everywhere there. In a while since... Hello, you! You are someone I do not recognize. Next to the town's wall, you notice a man who appears to be waiting for someone. His dagger looks like a particularly deadly weapon, and the thief handles it with great skill. Hello? What's in it for me? If you give me a silver, I might have a bit of info you could use. You know what? Sure. I'll give him a silver. For another silver, I could tell you where to find the Baron, Baban Yaga, or some goblins who have a lot of treasure. So if you want some information, hand me some cash. Uh, okay. Ah, he just wants... Okay, he wants multiple silvers to get that information. So I'm going to restore and hand him just silver. I'm going to hand you two silver. Okay, what do you want to know? I want to know about monsters. Lots of monsters in this valley. Most of them are wimps, though. What about goblins? The little pests are just northwest of the cemetery. They're a bunch of wimps. Warlock? He's some kind of magic user, and he laughs a lot. That's all I know. What about Antwerp? <laughs> yeah, the Antwerp's a good monster for you to fight. He loves to play. What about Baba Yaga? She's an ugly hag who lives in a weird house, who knows some magic. Her place is due west of the Baron's place. Can't miss it. Okay. And for two gold, I'll tell you how to get into a hut. No thanks, not right now. You just take the road north from here past the healers, and go till you get to his castle. Good to know. What about, uh, the healer? She's got some good potions. My hut is just to the north of here. Well, thank you very much. For two silver, we learnt some... If you want a good time, try the Dragon's Breath of the Bar. Nope! That's if I want to die! And I do not wish to die. Right. Let us, uh... Head over here. Also, I'm gonna check something. Yeah, we have all of our money. We're actually slowly gaining money. So, we haven't been to this screen yet. Let's have a look. You have come to the end of the main street. The town wall is to the south. You have an eerie feeling that someone is watching you. Yet that eye. The eye over the magic shop door seems to be watching you. Huh. We have, uh... 
This looks like a nice, neat little house. There is a grandmotherly old, little old lady rocking on the front porch. She's the only sane person here. At least she's not off a rocker, ha! And this is, uh, judging from what the sign says, the building at the end of the street is the guild hall. Let's talk to you. She's really sleeping soundly and doesn't notice your presence. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to be talking to us. In here, however, we might be able to, uh, talk to someone. Hello! Place we're never really going to use. An ancient balance scale. Zara thinks it will help her maintain a sense of balance. You see a wide variety of arcane objects. For example, scrolls covered with mysterious symbols and arcane incantations. The burning incense fills the room with a strange, fiery scent. You see a wide variety of arcane objects. For example, a toaster oven, very rarely used. Electricity hasn't been invented yet. That's true. The jar looks like it's filled. The jar is filled with a corrosive-looking green substance. The floor is almost completely covered by a strange symbol. You feel like you're floating on air. A mortar, complete with a traditional pestle. It's a blue bottle of blue bottle flies. A brown jar of crushed cockroach essence. Blech. It's a bowl of pretty little fish. The jar is filled with a corrosive substance. This strange globe radiates with an eerie light. The coals are glowing. It looks like a sculpture of some weird bat-winged creature. What's this? The jar says instant fire, just that water. You see a wide variety of objects. Crystal balls, useful only for those initiated in the ways of witches. Bottles of meph mephitic potions. There are a few Dead Sea Scrolls, a couple of Red Sea Scrolls, a C++ scroll written in assembly language, and others, and others even more esoteric. We don't want those. We do want to go over to here, though, and talk to the person who runs this shop. If only so that we can get some info. Snazzy. I am Zara. My companion is Domino. The items in this shop are designed for those skilled in the use of magic. Zara has a mysterious, unearthly look to her. You have a feeling that she is not a person to trifle with. Also, the Batwing creature must be some sort of familiar. There is an uncanny look in its eyes, and you don't want to look at it too closely. It's clearly magical. Hello! Let's talk about you. I am both human and fairy folk. I draw my power from both. My name is Zara. This is my shop. Well met! Talk about fairy folk. We are a people of power and magic, and live in the forests far beyond the mountains to the west. Fair enough! Power. Power is the essence of magic. That which the wizard shapes and is shaped by. Let's talk about... your familiar. Domino is both my familiar and my friend. We share our lives and our magic. Familiar? A familiar is a creature of magical abilities which has been summoned to serve the wizard. The summoning of a familiar is a most powerful spell, and can be cast but once. It binds the wizard and the familiar to the end of their lives. The more powerful the wizard, the more powerful the familiar, although you cannot always judge power by a familiar's shape. Fair enough. What about magic? If you have skill in magic, you can learn the way to cast spells by reading magical scrolls. Without the skill, you have no power. The more you practice spellcasting, the greater you shall become. Much like throwing rocks! No, no, throwing rocks is... Like throwing rocks? <sighs> yes, like throwing rocks. Spielberg. There is much magic in this world for those who know how to use it. There is magic in this little town, and a good deal of magic in this valley. Let's talk about the town. There is an aura protecting this town from danger. Within most of its walls, there can be no act of violence or cruel magic. Even so, it is prudent to avoid dark places. Like that alleyway between the tavern and the butchers? An aura is a spell of protection surrounding something. The town is still protected by the aura cast by the great spellcaster Irana. Talk about Irana. Irana was a powerful spellcaster who lived long ago. She brought peace to this valley. Even now, her spell protects this town from violence or foul magic. Her final resting place is due north of town, and it is a place of both safety and healing. It is known as Irana's Peace. Well, that explains why there are flowers there. What about the valley? There is much power in this valley, and it attracts those who use magic. I am here. Erasmus has his house on Zorberberg, and even Baba Yaga has her hook cooped up somewhere around here. Talk about Erasmus. 
Erasmus is a wizard and a spellcaster who knows much about this area. He lives in a tower northeast of town, at the top of this, atop of a steep mountain called Zabberberg. He can be very helpful if approached properly, but he has a strange sense of humour. What about Baba Yaga? She is a powerful and wicked hag. You would be wise to avoid her. She cursed the Baron von Spielberg when he tried to drive her away. Why did he try and drive her away? That's the question I want to know. What about a uh, curse? This is Baba Yaga's curse, cast upon the Baron years ago. Ba upon Baron Spielberg and all his clan, this the curse I now demand. What I will shall come full measure, so shall ye lose all that ye treasure. There is always a way to break a curse. Possibly Erasmus knows more about this. Maybe? Erasmus makes a point of studying the effects of magic upon mortals. There is little about magic in this area that Erasmus does not know. Let's talk about, uh, the Baron. He was once a great leader of his land until he was foolish enough to anger Baba Yaga. Uh, talk about that. Magic shop. What I sell here are merely tools to help those who have power. You may purchase restorative potions and scrolls from which you may learn spells if you have the potential. I want to save before I talk about initiation, because I don't think I can do that. Potential. A true magic user has the innate affinity for magic. There is also the ability to store power, which ordinary mortals do not have. Uh, spells? We sell several magical spells on study scrolls. You may purchase fire dart for 60 silver, fetch for 40 silver, or an open spell for 30 silver. I also know you can find a spell if you learn the secret of Irana's peace. Ooh. Well, we'll talk about all these. Fire Dart. That is the spell that lets you cast a magical flame upon your enemy. The spell scroll will cost you 60 silver. Okay. Fetch. The fetch spell allows you to lift or lower a lightweight object from a distance. The spell scroll will cost you 40 silver. And probably how you get the ring out of the nest. Open. It is a spell that allows you, at first, to unfasten simple locks and knots. As you gain in skill, you can even open doors with it. The spell scroll will cost you 30 silver. And zap! That is a spell that lets you place magical energy upon a weapon. The energy will be released as magical damage when you hit your enemy. Fair enough. Scrolls. The scrolls we sell are magical. You will have but to read the scroll, and you will learn it. What about Irana's Peace? To the north of the town, surrounded by the mountains, is an alpine valley that is rumoured to be the final resting place for Irana, although no one is certain what happened to her. It is certainly a magical place of safety. There is also supposed to be a gift there for magic users who are clever enough to find it. Yeah, we're not going to find that. Uh, Potions. We have potions of healing, vigor, and power for purchase from our shop. Well, two of those are ones that uh, we can get from the healer. Healing. The healing potion costs you 50 silver. It is made by the healer outside of town. Yeah, it's expensive. Vigor potions restore your stamina after you've exerted yourself. They cost 25 silver. Yeah, more expensive than going to the healer. Uh, we want to save, as I say, before we talk about initiation. I don't think the game will let us. When you have mastered nine spells, have the power to cast all, and proven yourself worthy by accomplishing a great deed, then you must undergo initiation to become a full wizard. There is a place in the distant south where you must journey. But first, you must become a hero there. Interesting! So, basically saying, you will become a hero, and then you'll... Oh, and off she goes! Sorry for not buying anything, and then in the second game, you might become a wizard. Either way, when we come back, folks, never actually got into the guild hall. We'll go there next time, find out what awesome stuff is available for us to do, and then probably climb some trees, throw some rocks, and fight some things. We are getting stronger. I mean, not massively strong and not very quickly, but we are getting stronger. And in time, we'll be strong enough to probably start dealing with some of the problems in this area. Maybe. Hopefully. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.